get off this rock. somewhere. If I can find its source, maybe I can change it to a distress call. Transmissions with the inner planets. This is UNN Command for the station Cassiopeia. We have received your multiple distress calls and our response has not changed. We encourage you to contact your private insurance supplier. If you do not have insurance, you can apply for emergency relief aid. You will be assigned a spot on the wait list. UNN Command, we understand that you cannot help us. No one can. At least, no human. I never understood how big it all is. But glancing out into our sorry keyhole, you begin to comprehend the scope of the universe. This would be our last message, as we're repositioning our radio transmitter to a far better purpose. It may take millennia to achieve contact, but we will be waiting. This place has given us nothing but death. But death is all we need. This is an automated message from UN Command. We have approved your application for relief aid. Please respond to coordinate shipment. Your estimated delivery time is within the next seven years. This is an automated message from UNN Command. They didn't have a chance out here, but they had a purpose. It's something. I refuse to end up as just another frozen corpse in this station. So this is the voice we've been hearing. A man trying to keep his station from falling to pieces, and the inners forgot about them. It's 
so weak. But you must have had some way of communicating with the inner planets. Of course. When the inners wouldn't help you, you started shouting in every direction at once. If I point the antennas back toward the gravity well, I can boost the signal and send the distress call. Oh, Sabaka. I'll have to use the mining tunnel. The quickest way to the antenna array is... Oh, under that massive mining cart. I'll have to power it up. entrance is under this thing. Uh, uh, uh. No good. It's magnetized to the tracks, but there must be a way to reroute it. This must control the mind tracks. Ancient tech, but effective. seen a passcode like this.
I'll run out of oxygen before I guess the shape they want. But maybe the miners left a clue somewhere. run out of oxygen before I guess the shape they want. But maybe the miners left a clue somewhere. to the antennas, boost the message, get help. What are the odds that someone hears it? Who is? Perhaps you should spend your last breaths preparing for your final rest. You want me to lie down and die? Is that it? I may mean, suggest that you embrace the inevitable. Don't talk to the bodies. Don't talk to the bodies. Don't talk to the bodies. Is anyone breathing? Mm, I can't hear you. I said, you are a long way from home, Malu. Does? I told you I'd find you, considering the price on your head. I'm amazed you got this far. You're not real. You're just a ghost. From a sad and distant past. You shouldn't be so quick. Turn down conversation, Carmina. Unless you want, unless you want to keep talking to the dead. You want to waste my oxygen? Fine. But you have to keep up. Message no one will hear. Hope 
begging for help that will never come. You really do belong here. I'd rather die here than be stuck on series with you. Yes, you made that very clear. What a waste for the bell. Did those rocks just turn into heads? So jumpy. You've gone soft since you left series. Almost there. He's quite a bit further, I'm afraid. If you're heading in the right direction. I'm not hiding. And when I get out of here... Yes, what happens then? You save the bell, right? right. From me? From the Inyas? From the tainted treasure you found? Correct. Do you actually believe all that? Or do you need a story to tell yourself as you die? I can't believe I trusted you. There are no right about you. Great job, you crew, boss man. You read what you sow, Captain. Is this supposed to be for me? Wait a few more minutes and see.
Ah, oh, for Lord. Look on the bright side. The door you need to get through is probably open now. Open now. There must be a way to double back. It's okay. Nothing down there but rocks. supposed to be for me. Wait a few more minutes and see. Tell me you've gotten bored with the... <sighs> Don't be needy. I'm sure you can handle this on your own. I can. Leave me alone. Don't worry, Marty. At the end of the day, you always end up alone. Is this? What's in here? Don't worry. You can't hurt them worse than you already did. Remind me, how 
many bodies did they pull out of that room in TND Square? Son of a bitch! It was your fault! Interesting. I don't remember setting explosives around the building. You lied to me. You told me that... I told you what you needed to hear. And you, like a good little soldier, didn't question it. Was it worth it? Factionalism will tear the OPA apart if we let it. These people threatened the stability of the entire station when they challenged me. You used to be the kind of leader who could bring out the best in anyone. Even a disgraced UNN general like Fred Johnson. What happened? I know what it takes to survive, which is why I am here and you are there. You preach about keeping the bell safe from inners. But who's gonna protect the bell from you? Nor you apparently. You ran just as soon as things got difficult. They were our Baratnas. All they wanted was a better life on Ceres. And you killed them for it. Be honest. You're angry that Belters are dead. You're angry that Kamina drama was tricked and tricked. You turned me into a murderer. I turned you into a soldier, and a damn good one, until you forgot how to pay all this. I'm done being trapped in the past. But the past isn't done with you, and that guilt will stay with you. Right up to the end. <sighs> Is this the part where you tell me that there's no use in sending a message? <sighs> that if anyone here has come in a drummer and needs help, They'll just start celebrating. Those? No. 
Fucking who? So you're dying of hypoxia on a forgotten asteroid abandoned by your crew. Everything out here can kill you. You taught me that. But you faced pirates and torpedoes. Hell, half your crew tried to kill you at one point or another. Are you really telling me the Kamina drummer is going to be beaten by a goddamn door. I never should have come out here. I. I left you. Now you're trapped on there with. Hey! Arlen did this. You did the only thing you could do, the only thing I wanted you to do. You survived. Now you have work to do. You need to save me, your crew, and the belt. So are you gonna spend the rest of your oxygen feeling sorry for yourself? Or are you going to get to fucking work? This is an emergency distress call. I am stranded and near death. Send help immediately. Please, don't let me die. Tensha. 
This is an emergency distress call. I am stranded and near death. Send help immediately. Please, don't let me die. Tensho, this is an emergency distress call. I am stranded and near death. Send help immediately.
You look like Falota. You look like a clogged up recycler filter. <laughs> Better gather your wits. Matna will want to speak with you soon. <laughs> I would have been better off choking to death on that rock. Hey. Over here. Seems like overkill to me. If I'm more horrified or disgusted, wonder what her story is. Looks like an Inya. Whoever she is, she's a long way from home. Kamina Drummer? Yeah. Who are you? My name is Julie Mao. Anderson Doss has a message for you. Oh, please, shut up! Oh. This is a blind spot, but they'll be happy to let me rough you up a little. Maybe a couple of minutes. It's our only window. Window? To figure out how we're getting off the ship. Who are you? Just an inner who's very far from home. With a shitload of supplies I'd much rather give to my friends in the OPA than these fucks. It's me and a group of defectors. I was heading to meet them on Ceres when I was kidnapped by these assholes. Hit me. That should buy us another minute. What's the plan? On the bridge, there's a center console. The screen all the way on the left has a disarm command for the entire brig. It needs a security override. The console is Tucson Station. You'll need to somehow move her off of there and keep her distracted long enough for the override to go through. At least I know what she's after. And how far she's willing to go to get it. That's something. I heard her talking about you, after you escaped and killed her men. She was furious, but also, I think she sees something in you now, something she wants. Use it. Oh, traitorous Pashang Walla. You gonna kill her? Or do I get to? Nah. She gets to talk to Martin now. Chamomile. Good for the throat. It's a habit I picked up in prison on Luna. Now I goes with the stuff. Five, six bulbs a day. When I'm not guzzling the blood of my enemies, of course. That's a joke. 
hilarious. I'm sure your crew are cracking up when they're not scared shitless of you. Torrance, do my jokes crack you up? Fuck no. Your jokes is corny as fuck, boss man. That's Torrance. We call him Thor because no one should ever have to suffer being murdered by a guy named Torrance. So, you're all one big happy family that goes around decapitating people. Decapitating corpses. <laughs> Their owners had no use for them anymore. Inners are sentimental about many things. Corpses, property, manners. If we follow their rules, we'd never win. Our power comes from being willing to do what they are not. You should understand that better than anyone. Come in, a drummer. This is Arlan, captain of the Artemis. Our former captain, Kamina Drama, is dead. As you know, her body carries Anderson Dahl's bounty. We are leaving it for you as a token. It was Drama and her little Martian friend who decided to go after those coordinates. Baratna and I were against it. We have dealt with both of them now. Whatever you are searching for, we don't know what it is, and we don't care. We are going back to Ceres, and you'll never find us in your sectors again. What do you make of that message? They're scared shitless of you. They thought they could distract you and get away with the core. But there's no way you'd waste time with me, unless you already knew you could catch them. Mainsha, how long till intercept? Three minutes, Matna. <laughs> it is a remarkable story you have. Betrayed by Dawes, betrayed by Cox, betrayed by your own crew, yet you still care. Do you love her? The little Martian? I do. Yes. That love is the reason why I haven't killed you. We don't employ crew members here. We find family. Look around. Everyone here has been betrayed by someone. Lied to by someone. Their parents, their captains, their governments. Same for me. Now, we have purpose. And that purpose is each other. All of them would die for me as I would for them. <laughs> the belt was built on lies. The only truth out here is family. You call us virus. <laughs> it means nothing. We know who we are and what we fight for. That's how we win. But you are pirates. You murder and steal from innocent people. The UNN is innocent? Or do you mean the scavengers trying to take food from our mouths and water from our tanks? We survive against far greater and more ruthless enemies. And we don't apologize for it. If that makes us pirates, so be it. You've come to us at an opportune time. The MK Core is the culmination of everything we've been building to us. You'll see. If you keep an open mind and open heart, you wouldn't be the first on this ship to make it from the brick to the bridge. Or you can choose the airlock instead. Let's go. This might be my only shot. To Saul. Yes. The Artemis has four functioning PDCs and a torpedo launcher. 
And they have one massive advantage. What's that? They can destroy you, but you can't destroy them. Not as long as they have the core. I know their weak spots. I know how they'll fly and how they'll fight. Of course you do. But why would you want to help us? Revenge. That crew is dead to me. I can help you disable the ship. And I'm the only person who can go in and find you the MK core. In return, you let me and Maya go. It's awfully rude of you to not even consider my offer. If it's a real offer, you'd let me consider it without a gun to my head. Come. Khan knows we're aiming to disable. She'll never let us get a clean angle on the drive thrusters. Your best bet is straight through the nose cone and out the back. Doesn't that have a high likelihood of killing your pilot? She's not my pilot anymore. If she's flying for Arlen, she deserves what comes to her. Forget the pilot. I'd worry more about exploding the reactor. But if you get off a clean shot, it'll be fine. I've done it plenty of times. Battle stations! Drummer, on guns! Be ready to kill her the moment I say. Yes, Mama. Torpedoes. Torpedoes? We need to keep their PDCs occupied, unless you'd like us to get strafed. No, hold steady. I can get my shot off before we pass. If we pass, we'll be exposed to their guns. Hold speed. Torpedoes first, then take your shot. Come on, Khan. Don't miss now. Stable. Good. And did we get them? Drama! Look! Time to ready the breach pod. updated as you clear each floor. Yes, my man. Drummer, this is our first mission together. I hope it won't be our last. But if you step out of line once... Yes, I know. Bulletin head, brains splattered, so on. Good luck. Which one of those is mine? <laughs> nah, throw it. See, Martin, she's a trusting person. 
person. Tough as iron, but big hearted. Me, though. Let's just say. Not all those UNN soldiers were dead before their heads came off. Sasuke. <laughs> 